Hello friends, welcome back to the multiple choice question and answer series of certified in the risk and information system control presented by Let's Learn C-Risk set 40. Right? Friends, let's start with the today's first question. The first question states, which of the following is the most significant benefit of implementing a continuous risk management process in an enterprise? The options are, option A, it complies with the external regulators and requirement. Option B, it captures changes to the enterprise risk profile. Option C, it ensures stakeholders are linked to the identified risk. And option D, it ensures timely action is taken to mitigate risk. The correct answer is option B, it captures changes to the enterprise risk profile. Because a continuous risk management process ensures changes to the enterprise risk profile are captured. Right? Let's discuss the other options which are incorrect. Option A. Option A states it complies with external regulators requirement. Friends, this option is incorrect because complying with the external regulators requirement is incorrect as the aim of an ongoing risk management process is to accurately identify changes to the enterprise risk profile. Right? Coming on to the option C. Option C, uh, uh, which states it ensures stakeholders are linked to the identified risk. Friends, this option is also, this option is also incorrect because linking stakeholders, right? to identified risk is incorrect as the aim of an ongoing risk management process is to accurately identify changes to the enterprise risk profile. Right? Moving on to option D, which states it ensures timely action is taken to mitigate risk. Friends, this option is also incorrect because timely action to mitigate risk is incorrect as the aim of an ongoing risk management process is to accurately identify changes to the enterprise risk profile. Right? That's why the option B is correct. Moving on to the next question. Next question states, which of the following is the main purpose for continuous monitoring? The options are identifying need for budget increases based on the risk environment. Detecting changes to the enterprise risk environment. Option C. Adjusting risk tolerance and appetite based on findings. And option D. Reassigning resources for each risk in the risk register. The correct answer is option B. Detecting changes to the enterprise risk environment. Because the continuous monitoring, right? which uh, allow the enterprise to identify changes to the risk environment, right? So thereby identifying new risk and changes to the control environment. Let's discuss the other options which are incorrect. Moving on to the option A. Option A states identifying need for budget increases based on the risk environment. Friends, Budget increases typically are needed after new risk is identified, right? Or the need to address existing risk with additional resources is noted. However, assessing the need for budget increases is not the main purpose of carrying out continuous risk monitoring, right? Moving on to the option C, adjusting risk tolerance and appetite based on the finding. This option is also incorrect because appetite and tolerance are typically set and not need adjusting as new risk is identified. Understood? Moving on to the option D. Option D which states reassigning resources for each risk in the risk register. This option is also incorrect because while continuous risk monitoring may indicate Changes to the existing risk, the main purpose is not to reassign resources. 
Understood? Friends, here we come to the end of uh, set 40 of uh, by presented by Let's Learn Series Multiple Choice Question Answer Series. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you.